Hi everyone, in today's lesson we are going we are going to look at division by a one digit number. So what will you learn today? We will be learning about division by a one digit number without and with remainder. Okay? So you ready? Let's go. Now before we start, let's think about what is division. Okay, so now division is basically grouping them or separating separating them into equal groups now the key here it, it must be equal groups okay so when when I divide I'm actually grouping something that I have into equal groups depending on what I'm dividing by so for example if I have to divide 132 divided by 3 it's like I have 132 items maybe 132 toys and I'm going to divide into three baskets so now how do you do it do we start with the ones place? Well, if we start with the ones place, then uh, I can only divide into two equal baskets. And then what's going to happen to my third basket? So, hmm, dividing by ones place doesn't work. How about uh, starting with the tens place first? So, tens, tens place can. Whoops, just nice. Uh, each ten in one basket. Very good. But how about my hundreds place? Where Where's it going to go? How am I going to break it up and... and, and, and tear it into pieces and, and put it into the, th the three baskets. So I can't do that. Now, let's say if I want to start with my hundreds place. I cannot divide into three baskets. But what can I do? 100 is actually the same as 10 tenths. So I have regrouped my 100 into 10 tenths. And from here, I can actually divide and separate all the tenths into three baskets and each basket must have an equal number so I realized that oops I am left with 110 here because this 110 cannot go into any of the basket because if it goes into the basket it will make e one basket unequal so division must be equal so now remember the same thing we did with the hundreds we can do it with the 10 I can break the 10 10 sorry I can break my 10 into 10 ones Okay, I can regroup my 10 into 10 ones, and then I start my distribution process all over again. And you realize that after you distribute, it distributes very nicely. Okay, so how do you work it out? So let me show you how to work it out. So when we do our working for division, we write it like that. 132 divide. Now the divide will look like this. Divide by 3. Okay, so 132 divide by 3. So now, you start with the hundreds place, the one hundreds, and we realize we can't. So we need to regroup. So when we regrouped, we combine it together and we have 13. Right, we have 13 tenths. So 13 divided by 3 will be 4. So 4 times 3 will give me 12. Now I need to minus off. Okay. So 13 minus 12 will give me 1. So that was that 1, 10 that I saw just now. So I will have to regroup this with the 2, 1. So I need to pull down my 2 to form 12. So remember, I had 12 ones just now. So 12 divided by 3 will be 4. So 4 times 3, just to check to make sure I'm correct, is 12. And I minus off, I have nothing left. So 132 divided by 3 will give me 44 with no remainder. So let's check. See, I got 1, 2, 3, 4 tenths, which makes 40. 1, 2, 3, 4 ones, which makes 4 ones. So total, I have 44. 44 in each basket. Okay? Now how do I check whether I'm correct? I can take 44 times 3. 4 times 3, 12. 3 times 4, 12 plus 1, 13. So I get back 132, which was my original sum. So that means I'm correct. Now let's look at a different problem. Similar but slightly different. Instead of 132, I have 134 divided by 3. Same concept. Let me take my 100 and regroup into 10 tenths. Distribute it equally. I will be left with my 110. So change my 110 to 10 ones, and then I regroup as, and I group them. Sorry, I then sort them again. 
So you realize now, oops, I'm left with these two ones. I cannot put them anywhere because then it will make one basket unequal, not fair. So division, we always talk about fair. Every group must have an equal amount. So this two is what we call the remainder. So again, let's work it out and see how it looks like as we do our working. So I take 1, 3, 4 divided by 3. So same thing. 1 cannot be divided by 3, so I need to regroup. So 13 divided by 3 will give me 4. 4 times 3, 12. Subtract, I get, I get 1. So 1 cannot be divided by 3, so I need to pull this down to regroup to become 14 once. 14 divided by 3, it's actually 4, the nearest. Okay, so 4 times 3 will give me 12. So you need to ask yourself, what times 3 will give me close to 14, but not over? It cannot exceed 14. So 4 times 3 will give me 12, because 5 times 3 is 15. So that's more than 14, so I can't do that. Okay? So then 14 minus 12 will give me 2, and this is what we call our remainder 2. So my answer is 134 uh, divided by 3, the answer is 44, remainder 2. Now how do I check? You check by taking 44 times 3 again. So 3 times 4, 12. 3 times 4, 12 plus 3, 13. But you need to add your remainder. So 1, 3, 2 plus my remainder 2 gives me 1, 3, 4. So I'm correct. So now, this is the time for you to try. Take out your video worksheet. This is question 1 in your video worksheet. Write down this question, 1,300 divided by 9. Solve it on your own first. Okay, you can pause the video to solve it and then I will review and look through it again. Okay, so I'll give you time while waiting for the little tortoise to walk past. You done? Tortoise almost there. If you're not done, pause the video first. Work it out. Take your time. Don't worry. Don't rush. Okay, I assume that you have finished. So let's see how we solve this. Let me use a different color. Let's use purple now. So same thing. Write it out. 1,300 divide by 9. Again, 1 cannot be divided by 9, so I need to regroup to become 13. 13 divided by 9, what times 9 will give me 13, but not over, so it's 1. Okay, so 13 divided by 9 will be 1. So 1 times 9 will be 9. If I subtract, that will give me 4. So 4 cannot be divided by 9, so I need to pull this down to regroup. So now I have 40. So 40 divided by 9 will actually be 4, because 4 times 9 is 36. 5 times 9 is 45, so that's too big. Alright, so you have to find the one that is closest. Okay, so 40 minus 36 will be 4. Now one way to check whether you are correct after you minus off, this number must be smaller than your divisor, what you're dividing by. If it's bigger, it means you've chosen the wrong number. Again, 4, my last 0. Okay, so drawing the arrows will help to remember that you need to pull this down. When we are pulling down, what we are doing is that we are actually regrouping them. Okay, so 40 divided by 9, again, it's 4. 36 minus, and I'm left with 4. Do I have any more numbers here? I have no more numbers here. I cannot regroup anymore. So these four ones will remain as a remainder four. Cool? Great. I hope you got the correct answer. Right, now this last question, question two, is for you to try on your own and come back to class and discuss. So take time, copy down the question. Okay? Copy it down and try and solve it on your own. Okay? Now my last part in the video worksheet will be for you to reflect. So after going through this whole entire video, what questions do you still have about long division or dividing by a one digit number? Is there anything that confuses you or are there any things that you need clarification? Or if you have no questions, think of a question that your friends might have. 
Okay, so bring those questions back to class and let's discuss. Remember, questions will drive your learning. So think of questions because that will help you to learn better. So I hope that you had fun and you have learned something of how to divide uh, by a one-digit number. See you back in class.